But yeah, basically, like, I didn't want to watch the gameplay because A, I was super behind on it, and B, I was like, oh, well, maybe I just want to experience all the gameplay for myself for the first time playing the Zelda game. But also, at the same time, after seeing the other trailer, I'm like, I kind of, I kind of want to, like, watch this and be able to watch the trailer over again. Like, experience it differently kind of thing. Because I'll know more of what's going on. I don't know. I just... I didn't watch too much uh, too much of the gameplay for Breath of the Wild. Um, when it was first coming out with the Treehouse stuff, I didn't watch too much of it. So I kind of was trying to follow the same vibe, but I don't know. I just feel like 10 minutes with Mr. Inuma is just special. So we're going to watch that today. So welcome in, friends, far and wide across Expanse of the Earth. My name's Miss Click, and this is Chat. And today we're going to be watching the 10 minute Gameplay demonstration with Mr. Ionuma. We uh, are watching this technically after the trailer has come out for the final pre-launch marketing campaign of Tears of the Kingdom. And it's coming out in... What's the date today? It's the 17th. It's coming out in just under a month. So uh, if you're here on Twitch, thanks for watching live. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being part of one of the first streams back. Um... And if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, we still love you. We love YouTube, don't we, chat? Yes, we do. We love you. Not doing that anymore. Okay, anyways, um, let's watch it. If you're going to avoid spoilers, I totally get it. I totally understand. Um, so if you got a dip, you got a dip, you know? Um, boy, with the 48 months, she lives. I do. I do. Between this uh, this stream and the uh, Tears of the Kingdom reaction video, it's been like the first couple times I've sat in front of my camera. So yeah, welcome in everybody. Also chat, this is some of y'all's first time in a YouTube video. Say hi. Say hello. Okay, let's watch it. And uh, yeah, I basically just curious to see how... Um, how I feel about the other trailer after seeing this because everybody was telling me there's a lot of stuff that I might like. So. I'm excited. Okay, let's do it. Woohoo! Hello, everyone. Peaceful orchestra I'm music. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Aonuma san! I love you! First, I've missed I have you. some news. He doesn't age, Development on ever. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. It's complete! Thank you very much for waiting. Thank you for making us wait. Many of you are looking forward to this game. Yes. And we've released a few trailers so far. Yes. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today Yay! and show you what it's like. Okay. Okay. I've already seen the third trailer now. Now it's just, I don't know. I just get excited Here every time. Are in the land of Hyrule. We're in Hyrule, of course. Like the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Look at his of new course, model. It's not just the same world as is. It looks it's great. changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, I love the art we'll style. Time, I don't know why people so complain. We hope you'll seek it's them pretty. out for yourself when the game launches. It's artwork. In this game, What's the vast smoke? world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. Yeah, look at that sky You'll box, dude. Some land masses floating up there. Is there a load screen we in between? Call them sky Islands. Not Skyloft. Oh, what if we go back to Skyloft? You're probably wondering something. <gasps> How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? Yes. Is there a load screen? If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. It's a rock. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. <laughs> it's that bullet. Let's head over to it. <laughs> it's a rock. Is that how we get up? We Is it almost at the elevator? Spot where the object fell. Oh, you know it's gonna start raining. No Revali's Gale. <laughs> Here it is. I'm gonna okay. miss that. Let's actually, use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell, why are they falling? Oh, rewind. Look, it started rising. Oh, this it power is... is known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. 
There's a limit on it, though, right? Sky Islands. No load Let's screen. Use the paraglider to reach one of them. Oh, the swan dive. Beautiful. There are a few other Sky Islands floating here, too. How do you get up there? No load screen. That is so I cool. There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope we'll try a few we're different so, methods. We're so high up! Okay. And we're not on Vomido either. On a slightly bigger Sky Island. Oh my god. Just like on the surface, there are several man made structures. Some trees are also growing here. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the orange. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. That's true. Let's walk around for a bit. Were they originally, f like, I, I want to, like, be on the ground map and like look up underneath an There's island a on the ground when you find something like this you should pick it up it might come in handy later let's continue like where they came from like what parts of the map oh something's there what is this it? is a brand new enemy called a construct a construct okay. we'll fight it using the branch we just picked up <laughs> ah the branch broke so not, good. They don't... not good <laughs> quick Get another All right, so weapon durability is back. I right, don't. We defeated it. I don't like that. I don't like it, but I understand why. We've now explored more of this sky island. Wait. Did I just read that right? I'm going back. It is Zonai. Moving on. Zonai charge. No We've freaking now way. More of this sky island. Wait, are you serious? As expected. No one spoiled that for me? Won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch repair. and rock over here. Repair. And do this. Look, we can stick them together. We created a makeshift hammer. This is called fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. I mean, it's kind of a repair. I was going to think more along the lines of like a whetstone kind of mechanic, like Monster Hunter. Like, let me fix my durability. We literally just like shoved a stick into a rock and called it a day like it was nothing. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. <laughs> oh, we beat one. <laughs> the weapon's attack has definitely improved. <laughs> the other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Yeah, you're... You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. You just went full caveman. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, did they show we this can in the gameplay? A with a much longer attack range. Oh my god! With this, we is there don't a limit to how many things you can fuse? Enemies, is it only two and items? Can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. They showed this in the trailer. <gasps> they did. Wait, leaf. they did show it in the trailer. I'm pretty sure Link's on the horse, right? And he had he had a ruby attached to it. Why would you do that? By the way, why would you waste a ruby? Ruby, <laughs> a Korok frond? Is that one of the big leaves, like from uh, Wind Waker? To an arrow. It is. Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and ice arrow. You can freeze far away enemies. Awesome. Awesome. Can we go fishing? Is there fishing in, addition, in this game? Hmm. Please Let's tell me they added fishing. Uh, Yo. There's a bird flying around. What's the limit to what you can fuse? You might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. <laughs> Apparently, my eyes can't track fast moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. Don't say that. You're so just being modest. Like these, oh, almost. Here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Yeah. Fuse it to an arrow and... <laughs> Look, it hemmed in on the target. Let's try this on another... Fuse it to an arrow and... Bro, Look, hacks! It hemmed in on the target. 
Let's try this on another bird. <laughs> I'll just fire in that general direction. It's very simple. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, for hunting, no kidding. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Why would you do that? Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. No. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Oh. Let's fight an enemy with this. Okay. I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. Oh, it's a smoke the bomb. The sight of Link, so... Yo! Attack. Holy crap! Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. Was In this idea for game, DLC, you, you think? You usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking you, things together. You can Let keep... me demonstrate. How many things can you fuse? Some Is there the a limit? Oh my god. Even have rivers. People are going to we'll do so many crazy things. One, but swimming across it, well, the river's too boat. wide for that. A boat. Need a boat. Yeah. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. The logs. So, Fuse those together. we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. Oh, and that's how he made that mech looking thing. It's a makeshift raft. The rock. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Ultra Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's uh -huh. modify the shape of the raft. Oh my gosh. This is going to be you can so much attach fun. Things or detach them like this. <laughs> I love this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. Can I like... We've made a simplified version of a boat. Can I attach two However, horses together and... Move in its current state, so we'll and have them pull me while I'm standing on a log? And I can go, like, surfing. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. How's it vent? Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Oh, it's not very high, though. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? Oh, we can attach it? What? What are they just doing lying around? Oh, that's so cool. We'll oh, my God. We were freaking airboat. Boat well balanced. Let's go hunt some gators. Okay, this is amazing. Attached. Holy crap. All right, let's it's, try moving the boat. I feel like so many people are going to be like, this isn't that big of a deal. Like, it's hey, just it's moving. Go mechanic. You, it's sailing pretty if you fast know how, with the wind from the fans. How many limits were tested in Breath of the Wild? This is going to like soar past fans, we should all be of that even more. In no time. That is incredible. All right, we reached the other side. That's so cool. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Yeah, Those that's true. Oh, they were all in the game from the start. That's... Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. That's how they there were made. Are all okay. All sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. Oh my! How you Is it a hoverboat? Stop! You can do a lot with them. So try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. <laughs> There are even more new abilities. I'm so Take glad you guys made me watch here. this. Okay, watch this. I literally... Look, I passed right through the ceiling. That's the... This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through... So it's not just like a shrine area. Above. It's literally anywhere? Oh my gosh. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. No, I'm, what I'm not example, really paying attention is he using a, cave with a, hill right a above Sheikah it. slate? What is he using to if even the trigger here, the ability? It's, his, it's just his arm. He's just using his arm. Come oh, we're on. swimming through the rock. Keep going. Okay. We emerged at the top oh of the God. hill. That's literally going to help. In the fast. previous game, <gasps> you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. Yep. But in this game, if wow. there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way oh, up. Oh, that's so Here's cool! Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, 
You know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. Oh, this is so cool. That's it seems so cool. to be holding a strange weapon. <laughs> He's got a paddleboard. Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. So it is Zonai. Ah, oh my it gosh. blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, I got pushed off. Oh, well, let's just return to the surface. We just went straight down. You no loading screen from the sky to the surface like this no loading screen it feels so good oh my god Skyward in the sky sword. you'll be able to look out across the land oh my gosh you can also search for destinations that pique your interest you guys once you've chosen your destination you can speed things up you can glide like so far now let's dive into this river no fall damage and we're oh back on the surface gosh. Oh man! There's still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. Is that a freaking flying enemy carrying a bokoblin? What did you think? That's some so cool. I love that so much. Previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, "Wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too." In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. <laughs> They've still learned that over the years. Gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar. So they were just showing us that new mechanic in this. Imagination to explore it. Wow. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. That's literally all they showed. So there's still a bunch of stuff even after the third and final trailer that they're not telling us. Oh, hold on. I'm going back. All for today. Thank I I'm I'm such a fan of the saxophone being featured in this game. And people are like, "Oh, it's not a saxophone. This is a saxophone, you guys." And I'm absolutely I'm kind of getting some Kingdom Hearts vibes. Thank you for watching. A little bit. Thank you, Ayanuma san. I'm so glad a saxophone's in a Zelda game now. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Wait, is there more? Wait. Oh, and that's when they got you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Jake Randall spoiled the switch for me. He spoiled the switch for me. He's like, yo, I got you, fam. And I was like, got, got what? He's like, here's the link for the pre-order. And I was like, what? So the leaks were real. Uh, wow. 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 Two days after my birthday. Oh, look at the pro controller. Wait, what? In the carrying case. Oh, I really like that pro controller. I really don't need another switch though. I really don't need another switch though. They sent me an OLED. I have my OG. And I technically have the Splatoon 3 one. I don't need another one. I don't need another one. I don't need another one. Man, I kind of wish I'd watched this live. I would have freaked out about this. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. It's beautiful. I might, I might just have to do the controller. I'm trying to be responsible here. Oh man, that's pretty. Fast forward two years later, click tell us. I really wish I got the Switch OLED. Man, maybe. <laughs> okay. So, like, obviously watching this after the trailer. I'm going to go back and re-watch that trailer now that I've seen this mechanic. Because, I mean, that trailer just showed so many things. So, now it's kind of like, I'll, I think I'll be able to maybe notice things here or there that they showed off. 
but it really didn't spoil too much. I feel like I haven't really been spoiled about this game between this this demonstration and the trailer. Nothing's really been spoiled for me outside of context of the title of the game. So I am a huge fan of this mechanic. They're pretty much just they're they're pretty much just continuing on with the idea that this game is sandbox and that there's not there's no, there's not only one right way to do something. I know some people miss the traditional aspect of Zelda where there is one item to do one puzzle one way to get to the next one right path. My main thing is after watching this is I hope with as much story as they have shown us in the other trailer that that story is going to be a little bit more linear and that everybody will get to partake in that story versus just opting out of it. Um, it's not that I'm saying like I, I wish people are forced into the story, but I, I do hope that it is along a guided path. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know. I think that's really, really, really cool. So thank you to everybody who did request that I watch it and who recommended it um, and who basically gave the go ahead that it's not giving away too much. The fact that they're still saying that there's a lot of things that they didn't show is telling me that there are surprises. I don't know. I really feel like with one edition, you open up so many new possibilities. And I remember seeing so many creators, you know, making the makeshift ships to fly up to the divine beast before it was time, you know, or taking a rail cart all the way from Goron, you know, Goron uh, village and taking it all the way across the freaking map. Yeah. I think instead of them being like, let's tone that down, they're like, okay, we see your creativity and we raise you more possibilities. I love that. I love that. And I can't wait to see what people come up with because it's just cool, man. It's just cool. Find the calamity naked. That's going to be it today, though, for me watching this gameplay demonstration with Mr. Anuma. Thank you to everybody who was watching live. Thank you to everybody who is watching after the fact. Again, sorry, I just didn't get to watch it when it came out. Life's been pretty crazy lately, but I'm glad we're here together now. So. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one, and hopefully we'll see you in the future for some Zelda streams. You guys are the best. Until next time, stay awesome, stay beautiful, and stay savage. Ta-ta, YouTube. We love you. Bye. Ah.